spoiled sister goes ballistic after I refuse $8,000 designer wedding dress, ignores me for months until learning I plan surprise Europe honeymoon, then begs me to come. Hi guys. Before I say anything else, I want to mention a couple of things about my sister. My sister and I have an age gap of 11 years, I'm 36 right now and she turned 25 this year. She was not really a planned baby, I guess most people would have guessed that. My parents had me when they were just 20 so I wasn't exactly planned either and then 11 years later, they had my sister. Because she was so young, the youngest in our family, she was spoiled rotten as a child. I was never jealous of her because I'm a lot older and in fact, I used to spoil her myself too. My parents are both dentists and so am I, of my own accord because I found it interesting. I was the one who supported my sister when she said that she wanted to be an actress and persuaded my parents to let her enroll in film school where she could learn. My parents believed that it was an unstable career choice and depended heavily on luck for her to be able to make it but I had faith in her and promised them that I'd take care of her if she didn't succeed as an actress. And that wasn't the first time I managed to persuade my parents to let her do something they didn't want her to do. When she was a teenager, I'd help her convince our parents to let her attend parties or stay out late and stuff and even go on trips or concerts that were far away from her friends. I was the reason she was able to get away with a lot of things she did as a kid because I always had her back. I'd even take the fall for her if she screwed up occasionally because that's how much I loved my little sister. But that has all backfired because thanks to all the love and affection that she's received over the years, she's turned into a total brat. She's rude, self-centered, and disrespectful to anyone who doesn't agree with her. We ignored that hoping that she'd grow out of it eventually but she didn't. Even with that nasty attitude, she somehow managed to get a guy to ask her to marry her. Her boyfriend of two years, now husband, proposed to her almost eight months ago and last week she got married. I was not invited to the wedding because of a very petty reason. The entire family was very excited about her wedding but I think I was the most excited and the first person she called after the proposal was me. The first couple of weeks were great and I was visiting her almost every weekend to plan the wedding. We already knew it was going to be a grand and extravagant affair because that's my sister's personal style. She was still a struggling actress and couldn't afford to pay for it herself so my parents were covering her expenses. Her boyfriend's family was relatively well off as well so they were also contributing and since her husband's an engineer with a stable job, my sister didn't need to worry too much about the money. I'd offered to pay for her wedding dress because I'd hoped that she'd pick something reasonable. Besides, I had a friend who had a bridal boutique of her own and she'd agreed to give us discounted rates for whatever we bought from her. I'd told my sister about this and she'd agreed to it but after some time, she told me that she wanted to buy a designer wedding gown and it was going to cost me $8,000. I wouldn't have been against it usually but I'd already been planning to sponsor my sister's honeymoon so I wasn't willing to drop so much money on the dress. She'd always talked about wanting to do a complete Europe tour so I'd been planning to surprise her with exactly that after the wedding as her gift. Now that was certainly going to cost a lot more than the dress and since I was spending so much on the gift already, I didn't want to spend another 8 grand on the wedding dress because it just seemed very unnecessary. It's not like she'd wear the dress more than once but the honeymoon would be a memory she'd cherish for a lifetime and with that in mind, I told my sister that I couldn't possibly drop that sort of money on just a wedding gown. Especially when my friend had agreed to let us shop or even get a custom-made dress from her at a much more reasonable price so she could get something exactly like the one she'd picked out but for my friend instead. But she insisted that she wanted the designer label and nothing else so we had a disagreement over it and I had to put my foot down. She was sulking when I said no and didn't even say goodbye to me when I went back home that day after our disagreement. I thought that she'd change her mind and call me up later but that didn't happen. I didn't want to tell her about the honeymoon because I wanted to surprise her but after she didn't speak to me for almost a week, I had half a mind to call her and just tell her why exactly I wasn't willing to spend so much money on just her wedding dress. I didn't want her to get upset because I knew she was already very stressed out about the wedding. I was about to call her after the sixth day because that was the longest we'd gone without speaking to each other but she ended up calling me first. I'd thought that she'd call to apologize for her behavior since she was being kind of petty and childish over a wedding dress but I was wrong. She started the call by asking me why I was being such a miser because she knew that I had a lot of money and could afford to buy her that dress. Before I could even answer her, she went on to say oh, it's not like you have a husband or kids of your own so what you need that money for and I still remember that, word for word. It was a really low blow which I hadn't expected because I thought that at least she, being my sister, wouldn't say crap like that to me knowing how sensitive I was about it. I don't like it when people say things like that to me because this is a choice that I've made. I never wanted a family and so I've remained single by choice and hadn't had kids by choice but so many people have had so much to say about my choices that it's become somewhat of a sore spot for me. My sister knew that and despite that, she was picking on me to trigger me and so I ended up getting very offended. She usually reserves this side of hers for people she doesn't like and had never acted that way with me before but I'd also never said no to her for something before. I hadn't seen this coming so I was caught off guard by this sudden change in her attitude, all because I'd said no to a ridiculously pricey wedding gown. I told her that she couldn't speak to me like that, especially when I was the one paying for her dress and she hit back saying that she was apparently giving me the opportunity to fill my empty life with something by letting me buy her stuff for the wedding. 
Then she went on to call me jealous because she was getting married and I was pushing 40 but still single. I hung up after that because it was just way too disrespectful for me to take and didn't speak to her for the next couple of days. I was very upset and had even cried over this fight because the things she'd said were mean and I couldn't believe that the sister I'd done so much for was now saying these things to hurt me over a dress. We didn't speak after that, but I did hear from our parents who reassured me that it would all be fine but didn't want to interfere. They told me that she was mad at me but they believed that she'd come around and I guess so did I. I started giving up hope after around two months of not talking to her and after a while when I heard that all our other relatives had received their wedding invitations but I hadn't, it hit me that she had no intention of inviting me anymore because of our fight. I took that really badly because it felt like crap that I'd always gone above and beyond for her, just to make her happy but I was being treated like this now. In fact, even for the wedding, I was willing to go all out and sponsor the honeymoon of her dreams which is why I wanted her to give up on the wedding dress idea. After I realized that she hadn't invited me to the wedding, I was upset for a long time but eventually, I got over it because I could finally see my sister for what she really was. She was a complete narcissistic brat and would never be able to care for or love someone unless there was something in it for her. With that in mind, I blocked her from all my socials and haven't spoken to her for ages. But I had kept in touch with my parents and a couple of months ago, we went out for dinner where I had a little too much champagne and I ended up telling them the real reason I didn't agree to buy my sister the dress she wanted and how I'd intended to gift her with a Europe trip for her and her husband. After I sobered up a little, I made my parents promise that they wouldn't breathe a word of what I'd told them to my sister but they broke that promise. My sister's wedding day was about a week ago and on the morning of the day she was supposed to get married, she showed up at my door at around 6. I was totally unprepared and disoriented because I'd been woken up by the sound of the doorbell and she was the last person I'd been expecting to see. We hadn't spoken for several months so I was naturally very shocked. I didn't open the door but I could see her through the intercom. Instead of opening the door, I decided to call her to ask why she was there all of a sudden. She answered my call and very politely and sweetly asked me to let her in but I told her that I didn't want to see her. I knew it was humiliating for her to hear me say that but I didn't care because, at my age, I'm not very good at taking disrespect no matter who it's coming from. She wasn't a teenager anymore and she knew her words could hurt but she'd still said such things to me and I had neither forgotten nor forgiven any of that. Even on the phone, she didn't apologize to me for what she said instead, she told me that she wanted to invite me to the wedding to make amends. I was very confused and took some time to think why exactly she would be at my door on the morning of her wedding after giving me the cold shoulder for months and decided to ask her if she'd talk to mom. She stupidly said yes and I knew that our mother must have told her about what the original gift I'd intended for her was supposed to be, which is why she was suddenly here to make amends. To confirm if that was the case, I asked her very bluntly if mom had told her anything about the gift and after some hesitation, she admitted that she knew what I was about to surprise her with and so she'd felt awful about her behavior which is why she was here to invite me now. If she had just said no and said that she didn't know anything about the gift and was here because she'd realized her mistake, I probably would have let her in and reconciled with her but she didn't have enough common sense to just lie her way out of this and told me the truth about how she was here only because of the gift I'd intended for her. Had she not found out about that from mom, she wouldn't have been at my door to invite me to her wedding either. I was very upset and told her to go away because it was all just too little too late but she had the audacity to say that I couldn't just shoo her away like this because it was her wedding day and she'd personally shown up to invite me even though this could mean that she'd end up being late to her own wedding. I was already pretty upset and when she said that, I got even more annoyed so I snapped and told her that I didn't ask her to come all the way here to invite me and it made no difference to me at this point if I was there at her wedding or not. She started bickering with me on the phone after that, insisting that it was a big deal that she'd come to invite me personally and that instead of being so arrogant, I needed to just suck it up and stop overreacting. I didn't even say anything and disconnected the call again because I didn't want to waste my morning arguing with her. After I hung up on her, I heard her scream and call me the B word from outside the door and then kick it. I wanted to call the cops but didn't because it was 6 in the morning and I was still drowsy. I heard her drive away after that so I also went back to sleep and decided that I'd talk to my mother about this later. It was hard because I was still very upset but after half an hour, I managed to fall back asleep. At 9, when I finally woke up for real, I realized that my phone had been buzzing and that's what had woken me up. It was a number that I didn't recognize but I thought that it could have been someone from work, so I answered it and it turned out to be my sister's husband. They'd found the time and energy to curse me out right after their ceremony and had managed to get all their friends to join in as well. The second I answered the call, her husband asked if it was me to confirm that it was me, and when I said yes, all of them started cursing at me and laughing. For 10 whole seconds, I could barely even say or process anything because of how loudly they were all speaking and the absolutely filthy things they were calling me. Then I hung up and after a few minutes, I called my mother to ask her what the heck was going on. She told me that she had told my sister about the gift of the honeymoon the evening before the wedding because she thought that it would make my sister realize that she was wrong and then she'd come to me and apologize for everything. That didn't go as planned and she said that she was sorry for revealing that to my sister even after I'd told her not to. Then I asked her about the phone call I'd received just now and she told me that she had no idea about it because she and her friends were outside taking photos and she wasn't even standing near them so she didn't hear anything. 
She was appalled that they'd behaved with me like that, but I really wasn't. This is exactly the kind of pettiness and stupidity I could expect from someone like my sister. And for the next couple of hours, I sat in my room while silently seething and planning what to do. I was mad at my mother too but I knew her heart was in the right place so I forgave her but my sister needed to be put in her place. I could call the cops but that wouldn't amount to anything and she'd just be let off with a slap on the wrist while I'd be the monster who ruined my sister's wedding day. Without any other plan in mind, I thought that I'd just do for myself what I was going to do for her. Not the revenge part but the Europe tour that I'd been planning to give her. So out of sheer anger and spite, I booked my tickets and even invited a friend of mine to accompany me who agreed readily since he was always up for an adventure. This wasn't entirely personal either because I'd been thinking about taking a vacation for a while now to spice up my life. I'd always played it safe when it came to big things like these and didn't ever do anything spontaneous just for the heck of it. So this was a personal thing for me too and not just a way to make my sister feel bad about whatever had happened. Three days ago, my friend and I left and I'm currently in France. I've been posting all about our trip on social media and I knew that someone or the other would have told my sister at some point. We don't have a lot of common friends but a lot of her friends do follow me online and I purposely didn't remove anyone from her circle so they could watch whatever I posted and then go running to tell her about it. And that's exactly what happened, someone or the other must have told her and my mother called me up this morning to tell me that my sister was devastated and had been crying for hours after she saw me bragging about my Europe tour online. She told me that she understood why I wanted to do this but also called me out for being petty and said that I should have at least considered the fact that I had more than a decade on her before taking things so far. My sister is apparently inconsolable and my parents, other relatives, and even a couple of my friends think that rubbing this in her face is wrong. I feel like a jerk right now. Ida for rubbing my vacation in my sister's face after she went no contact with me because I refused to pay for the wedding dress she wanted to buy? Update 1, hi, everyone, thank you so much for all the comments and the reassurance. It means a lot to me that so many people have such kind things to say about me. Some of you guys thought I was an idiot for wanting to do things for my sister and going overboard for her and I agree with that as well, I did way too much for her and ended up spoiling her more than she deserved too. I guess I had been a bit of a pushover because I thought that she, being my family, would never treat me the way she treated others but I was wrong about it. Evidently. I've also realized how unfairly my parents have been treating us both just because we have a significant age gap. Me being 11 years older doesn't mean my feelings matter less so I don't understand why I'm being treated like that. When I was upset about her refusing to talk to me and insulting me just because of the dress, my parents decided that they were going to take a step back and not meddle in our personal affairs but now, just because my sister is the one who's upset, they're all involved in stuff. It seems really unfair to me and while I haven't confronted them about this yet, I think I'll bring this up if my mother calls me up again. It's been 4 days since our last phone call and she hasn't called me or tried to contact me yet but I have a feeling that she will. Either she will or maybe my father might because even during the last phone call, my dad had been whispering things all along to my mother and I knew he had a lot to say but wasn't saying it because he didn't want to seem like he was involved in any of this drama. I didn't mention it in the last post because I didn't think it was relevant but given whatever's going on right now, I just feel like venting and letting it all out. I'm still on the trip and I put on a happy face when I'm out with my friends so I don't end up bumming him out but on the inside, I'm really pretty freaking upset about all of this. Update 2, Hi, Reddit. Today my mother finally called me after almost 3 weeks. Not to apologize, sadly, but to tell me that she and my dad had decided that it would be for the best if we did not meet for a while because that would upset my sister. So I guess we've made it clear that what makes me upset is very irrelevant. Not only that, she also told me that she and her father were sponsoring my sister's trip to Bali because she was very upset and now I don't have to worry about feeling bad for her anymore. I told my mother that I was glad that she was finally being a proactive maternal figure and taking an active interest in her daughter's social life, even if it meant meddling in her personal business. I said that I wished she'd extended the same love to me as well when I was feeling bad about my sister not speaking to me over a bloody dress and then hung up. My father texted me after that to tell me that the way I behaved with my mother wasn't acceptable and that I needed to do something about the way I'd been lashing out at my family because otherwise, they couldn't see a future where we continue to be on good terms. I texted back and told him to cry me a river and then blocked him. I've decided not to let my family interrupt my holiday anymore because what's the point? It's not like fighting for their attention is going to make them like me anymore. And I'm almost 40. For God's sake, I can't deal with these high school shenanigans that my sister is pulling and my parents are just going along with it. Either way, I spent a considerable amount of money on this tour and now I want to enjoy it to the fullest. I hadn't told my friend about any of this happening so far because I didn't want him to feel like I was ruining this trip or bugging him with my problems but today, I talked to him. I told him everything and he reassured me that I was definitely not the problem here but my family was. It was evident that they had a favorite child and it was obviously not me. So they could keep favoring their favorite daughter but I needed to get the hell out of there. And it's something I needed to hear because for so long I'd been hoping against hope that somehow, my sister and my parents would come around. Now I know they won't and I'm okay with it. Update 3, Hey, guys. I'm back from my trip after almost 6 weeks of roaming the streets of European countries. 
I don't mean to sound preachy but this trip totally changed me and my perspective on life. I feel like a brand new person now, which is probably why I don't care that my parents have disinherited me. It's fine, I earn enough to survive on my own. Also, the friend that I went on vacation with? We're together now. It happened a week ago, we were drinking wine and he confessed that he'd had a crush on me for ages. He and I have been friends for almost 8 years now so I was a little surprised but truth be told, I'd always had feelings for him too but never told him because I was afraid of ruining the friendship. But now, we're together and I'm as happy as can be. I'm glad I went on this holiday, honestly. Revenge, my sister, my parents, everything be damned. I needed this vacation for myself more than anything else.